Shalom, shalom, shalom to everyone. This is Rabbi Moshe Otero with the Ways of Israel. Hope you enjoyed your 4th of July uh, weekend. Very short, but hope you enjoyed it and had a wonderful time with family and friends. And, of course, we're going to start this morning <coughs> with the fourth book of Sefer Kareem. <coughs> Excuse me, got a little cough here. <coughs> a little tickle. <coughs> Excuse me. And so we're going to take a look at the Ma'amar 4, Sefer Hai Karim. Um, and we'll look at the introduction, and then later on we'll go chapter by chapter. Ma'amar 4, or the book number 4, Sefer Hai Karim. In this book number 4, Rabbi Albo begins with over 41 different chapters. So it's it's a series of, of chapters dealing with what he would call uh, reward and punishment. So herein he explains the fourth principle, which is reward and punishment, the fourth uh, uh, purpose of the Torah, the whole Torah, as he says, as well as the derivative principle implied in it and other matters dependent upon it, and the derivative principles. We said in the first book that the freedom and purpose are not principles of divine law as such. Freedom is a principle of all human activity, hence we do not include it among the dogmas which are peculiar to divine law. As to purpose, though it, that too is a principle of all conventional laws, still inasmuch as the purpose of divine law is different from the purpose of conventional law. We did make the purpose of reward and punishment a fundamental principle of divine law. Inasmuch, however, as it's possible to explain this purpose, namely reward and punishment. Without knowing first about freedom, we first must speak about the latter. But we cannot explain freedom without first discussing God's knowledge of existing things. Accordingly, we shall first treat of God's knowledge, then of freedom, then of providence, and finally of reward and punishment, and the other matters depending upon it. It's clear that we must follow this order. We want to treat of reward and punishment. For if God has no knowledge of the things existing in the sublunar world, there's no meaning of reward and punishment for conduct. And even granting that God does know the things of this world, if man is not free to choose his conduct, he should not receive either punishment or reward for it. And finally, even assuming that God knows the things of this world, and man is free to determine his conduct, if God knows those things in a generic way only, and he knows the lower animals, if he exercises no provision over the particulars of their conduct, punishing them for disobedience and rewarding them for their good deeds, there can be neither reward nor punishment. It's clear, therefore, that these three, namely principles, God's knowledge, freedom, and providence are necessary prior to the principle of reward and punishment and are implied in it. We must, therefore, consider them first and the things which depend upon them and the issues from them, and then we'll speak about the reward and punishment and all things which are dependent upon it, such as repentance, resurrection, and the Messiah. All of this we shall discuss very briefly so as not to burden um, burden you or the reader, but just enough to give the believer a conception of this matter. And so he ends the introduction this way, and we'll be taking a look of, of chapter 1 during lunchtime, during my break in lunchtime, to look more lengthier, and hopefully you'll, you'll join me in chapter 1 of Sefer Hari Karim. This was the introduction of Rabbi Alba, and I want to just um, thank you for joining us this morning and being part of the Ways of Israel. Thank you also, those of you who have contributed to Los Caminos Israel, which is also Ways of Israel, same same entity, same organization. I want to thank you uh, for contributing. We are still a little bit short from our last month's um, budget, and we would encourage you and, and really encourage you to help us uh, reach and pay off last month's budget, which would really be appreciated. You're going to give any size doma- donation right down here, press the button, and say, yes, include me in your um, your membership. Membership, you can download right here on file on Ways of Israel, and you fill out the application, you send it to us, and it's only $100 a year for membership. And obviously we send you a, a membership card that you're, you, you are part of the Ways of Israel. 
May God bless you and yours in this beautiful day, July 5th. Shalom, shalom.